si hay gente que quiere, quieren escuchar lo que está diciendo ahorita en español, por favor levanta tu mano y um, tenemos a alguien aquí que pueda ayudarte. So, if anyone's interested in listening in Spanish, please raise your hand and we can have a translator come sit next to you. Thank you. Sorry, the director's uh, Again, thank you to our, our host. And uh, I want to thank the audience for coming out tonight. Can everyone hear me? Great. Um, some very um, profound facts have been laid out um, tonight. And I just want to tell you a little bit about my story, because it sort of parallels with what Mayor and Secretary Morgan were talking about. My parents moved to Milwaukee, migrated to Milwaukee in the 50s from the Mississippi. Uh, with this notion that life would be better. As the mayor stated, there are jobs here, and you could go from one place to another and, and get a job to support your family. For my family, family of eight kids, the hope for my parents was that their kids would become educated to, to drive on their legacy. That was a core belief in our family. And it's, it was a core belief in a lot of families. We all migrated here. And you all have a story about the value of education. The question that we have in the city today is, is that value shared across this entire city? We can talk about governance, and I'm one that would suggest to people, if there's a better model, let's talk about what that is. Because we have to serve young people to the, the highest of our abilities. Um, but there was a belief there, that core belief that education would take you where you needed to go. Over the last 20 or 30 years, we've seen that erode for a number of reasons. It's not just what happens in the school building, because schools are only, they only mirror what happens outside of the schools. And that's impacted educators' abilities to do what they need to do. It strained a system. Uh, that for one reason or another has been asked to do well beyond what it was designed to do. It is not only uh, supposed to be the, the system that educates, it is to be that system that um, creates full employment for a community. It is supposed to be the social service mecca of this community. And whenever you have those huge tasks, on resources that were defined for education, you run afoul. We do have to become focused, laser focused, on what this institution should be about. And we do need to charge those other entities that utilize taxpayer funds to do what they were charged to do. There's a pushback there. There was responsibility amongst those institutions to do what they are charged to do. If there's a smarter way to break down those silos and recreate something that better serves our young people in this community, we should have at it. That's what this discussion should be about. How to create something better than what we've got right now. Unfortunately, we're focused on one element, and we haven't gotten to all of those root causes that tend to fail our young people relative to, to educating them to the fullest. That's the discussion that I really want to have. At the end of the day, as a board member, I have very little say in what happens in Madison. As a citizen of this community, it's my responsibility to support our young people, whether it's on an elected board or whether it's a board that is appointed, whether it's a superintendent that's appointed by the mayor, the question for all of us is, is how are we going to wrap this community's resources around our young people <coughs> to improve achievement, not just inside the classroom, but outside the classroom. And I'm hoping that through these sorts of dialogues and further dialogues, we can get to that point, because that's really where we need to be. Thank you.